Folks, it's Thursday night. Welcome aboard. Uh, Murder Hobo Inc. is live with a cacophony-ish edition. Uh, we're glad to have you. If you are a returning viewer, thanks. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. Uh, don't forget, uh, you can always join us on the one shots. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit with us, join our Discord channel. If you want to buy cool stuff like, I don't know, uh, toilet seat cover, shower curtain, shit like that. It's in our shop. Uh, most importantly, like I said, if you want to join us for one shot or the Tuesday talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail, hit us up uh, all Saturday, all month long on Saturdays. One shots uh, open to everybody. This week is Beholder Swamp, first level. Uh, uh, don't forget to check out pirate dog dice dice that may or may not kill these guys at some point in time and of course oddfishgames.com oddfishgames.com if you want to learn how to uh, write check out their shine system uh, if you want to choke like a little bitch like Kyle uh, get <laughs> adventure sense packs and take a big huff off them kids uh, these are not candy do not huff them uh, do not put yeah. them mouth uh but get putrid set putrid sewer for anybody you don't like uh and take a look at our channel for kyle getting his nostrils too close it was hilarious uh like i said this is the cacophony group uh let's introduce you to the people uh blah, 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 blah. we'll start with uh normally our producer tonight producer and player uh, if she remembered to unmute her mic, which I'm sure she did because she's a pro like that and I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> Carrie, who are you? Who do you play? Uh, I'm Carrie and I'm playing Camilla. The She is a lightfoot halfling necromancer. Likes coffee and cheese. Not out in the frontier, she don't. Uh, <laughs> next up is David. David, same thing. Who are you? Who are you playing? I'm playing that that uh, race of character that Frank loves. <laughs> I'm playing a changeling. I am Zadar, the changeling arcane trickster, and you never know what persona I'm going to take day to day. So. Uh, you're going to freak out the Indians. Uh, mm -hmm. The Talosians are American Indians. Last but certainly not least, our youngest murder hobo. Probably our deadliest. Caitlin, who are you? Who are you playing? My name's real life Caitlin. <laughs> My character's name's Daphne, and I am a teeth playing paladin, right? That's what I am. <laughs> yep. We're still level six. A mean right? teeth paladin. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. Jeez, what do you want? Just all the levels right off the bat? Yeah, I want all the levels. I think it'll be like level 15. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. You can do that. I don't want to do that uh, much math. Yeah, like nothing happens at that. <laughs> yeah. Nothing <laughs> happens at 15, but death. Uh, folks, like I said, this is the Cacophony Edition. These guys grew up uh, multiple levels, first six levels, all in urban adventures in the city of Cacophony after uh, making their... Uh, name shall we say in the city during a cultural trade show event several opposing nations vied for their attention the telosians aka american indians uh living in the northern frontier won out as they proved themselves to be uh the friendliest towards the party uh and one of the more intriguing issues, the ancient Tower of the Kurd is said to be haunted, and the current leader of the Talosians, would-be leader of the Talosians, uh, can only be uh, coronated or have a coronation uh, within this tower, and her name is Hempta, the seductress. Uh, she and her faithful servant, along with her retinue, uh, arrived in Cathaway for the aforementioned trade conference and won the hearts and minds of these guys. They subsequently set off on an ocean journey north, uh, but cannot go to their destination and ended up in the city of Cathaway, home to Dwayne the Brick Johnson, among others. Right, all right, right all right, all right. Uh, last time these three were together, they got themselves into kind of deep shit and ended up blasting two ne'er-do-wells into separate buildings 
uh, before running into their one-shot selves the following <laughs> week. Uh, you guys uh, are taking off in the morning, and it is about midnight. Uh, it's probably time for you guys to get your ass back to the inn. Is that what you'd like to do, or do you want to just say fuck it and binge drink all night long in Cathaway? I gotta ask, because... Did we get the thing? Uh, yeah, did we get the pelt, or did the halflings... Yeah, you guys have the mana core. Okay. Oh, we do have it now? Mm -hmm. I'm ready to go back and... Okay, my question is, before we go back in, is it still that holiday? Of course. Okay, so, yeah, There's heads up, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Folks, if you missed our New Year's Eve special, it was Carrie and David going through Cathaway uh, on a very special holiday event which the Danes, some for some reason, throw out old pottery into the streets. Uh, Carrie and David's character took several wings to the head, uh, and as you guys grab the manacore pelt, because in their voyage they ran into a manacore whose uh, mate had been captured and skinned, these guys for some reason wanted to retain the skin. In case we run it over a... across him again so he can have it back. Yeah. Yeah, by that time it'll molt. Or uh, it learn was... some necromancy and like taxidermy, meet him along the way, have a little dig into the thing. Or... Well, <laughs> I was that gonna... is dark. I was going to see <laughs> see if there <laughs> was a, a druid or a cleric that might be able to resurrect this. No, it's skin. Manicorn. It's going to be like Frankenstein status. Yeah, you can make it a flesh golem manticore. There we go. That uh, resurrection doesn't exist here. Oh. It never okay. has. That's why I really wanted to see Carol's character die instead of just uh, be named Eileen. Nice. <laughs> or IHOP. Uh, IHOP. Oh, yeah. So, you guys have the pelt. You've dealt with the slovenly We probably better leave before people come and say, hey, uh, <laughs> you uh, knocked our shit down. Yeah. That is true. Uh, around the corner is where your hotel is. Uh, you were provided lodging by Hempta uh, and her faithful servant, Talana. Uh, you were at the Watchtower Inn. Is that where you would like to go? Uh, that would probably be our best bet, guys. <laughs> The innkeeper is a one-eyed man named Steve. Uh, he looks at you and asks if he can help you. Uh, we were just going up what? to our rooms. What rooms do you guys have? Hempta got rooms for us. The Indian? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, you must be them adventurer types. That's right. That's what it. did you kill? Oh, we didn't kill anything. He's looking right at uh, Zadar with the pelt. Yeah, well, we <laughs> we, liberated we liberated something, but this is the remains of it. <laughs> you, uh, you thinking about uh, selling it? Looks like it came off a big fat creature. Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> his name is Steve. It is not uh what's his name? What the Leatherface character? Buffalo Bill. Buffalo Bill. There we go. <laughs> A big fat man. Jamie Gum. That's right. Uh so he asks if uh, you'd be willing to part with uh, the item. I don't know. We've been we've been through a lot to get this, so I can make it worth your while. Snake skin, Steve. Sorry, I've been sitting here trying to think of animals with an ass besides sharks. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking? You'll have to excuse Caitlin. She randomly yells out shit just for no particular reason. <laughs> Correct. That's right. <laughs> well, I, I mean, just to entertain our curiosity, how would you make it worth our while? I could probably uh, give you a uh, Three hand gold pieces for that. Cool. I don't know. We went through a lot. <laughs> Four hundred gold pieces. The hell. Let me can confer with my compatriots. <laughs> so we huddle up. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> I don't know. I 
I feel bad because the whole reason I wanted it was in case we ran into what's his face to give it back to him. Yeah. He, he reaches down and holds a small white dog and begins to pet it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put some lotion on that pelt? <laughs> <laughs> I put some lotion on that pelt if you sell it to me. Um, I, okay, this is the dilemma. It's just like, what if we do run into the manticore again and they misinterpret what we've done and you know he doesn't believe that we are not the ones that that did this so what, that's we get on? i said we're gonna find some puppet magic taxidermy puppet we, magic we found your mate yeah i guess that would be kind of creepy yeah that would be very creepy daphne Although that's very entertaining. It's a very entertaining like idea. If Frank died, I don't think I'd want somebody to bring his skin back to me. Yeah. Well, parts, maybe. <laughs> Depends on how long ago. <laughs> if it's rotted, no. <laughs> I can right. tell you how long you got. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see if he can make the offer better. Okay. Can you do any better? This yeah. is a very rare creature. Uh, I can do 425. What kind of dog does he have? A uh, little white poodle mix. And your dog. And the end. Just tell, give us the whole end. Sell this. I, I ain't selling the end. And my dog, I, I give you 350 in the dog. Because I love this thing. What's its name? Uh, dog. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the default name, Steve, you know? Yeah. I was going to call it Trixie, but I knew there would be Fallout for that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess we probably really don't need to be looking after a dog on our job. No, no, no. Entertaining if you have rats, is this, dog, this, this dog's a ratter. Are poodles ratters? Not poodles. They sniffed out, like, trouble. They're hunting just... dogs. Yeah, they're, they're, they hunt small animals, but they aren't mm. ratters. Dachshunds and let's, terriers are. Let's just take the yeah. cash. Okay. So, pelt into cash. 450 and you got a deal. Sold! All right. He uh, gives you 450 in gems. Okay. That works. Okay. And uh, he gives you your room key. All three of you are rooming in the same room. That's okay. Right. Okay. Slumber party. There we go. Where's the <laughs> It's like bricks in a pillow. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a lady, so. <laughs> Blanket party. Uh, so you guys. Go... The dog. It's not a pillow. You guys go up to your room. Uh, eh, eh, it's okay. Okay. You're on, you're on the third floor. The din of broken pottery can be heard. Uh, in several different directions. You guys have a corner penthouse. Ooh, nice. uh, Ooh. But it's just an okay room. Yeah. Uh, everybody give me perception checks. Why is it the penthouse is just like a pentagon shape? Well, we, we've already sampled one of the rooms in Cathaway. Yeah, th this is not as good as the last one. Okay. Uh, okay, you said perception? Yep. Ten. And that'll be a big whopping 12. Two 12s and a 10. Ah, you guys don't hear the conga line outside. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, there are two beds and a cot. I'm small. I'll take the cot. Okay. Everybody agree to that? I'm, I'm not going to argue. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the tiefling's feet hang over the edge because she is tall. <laughs> uh, and clearly she needs a pedicure because she's looking a little bit rough <laughs> it's Every, a, everybody it's roll, been a while <laughs> everybody roll a con check oh lord con just a, just a straight up con or we straight doing... up con Okay. Six. not a save what the hell all right <laughs> all right uh let's see 11 while uh you are an octavia who's your character me Daphne. 
Caitlin Stafting. Yeah. It still says Octavia Daphne. from, uh, from Hannah. Daphne. Uh, Camille, uh, while Daphne's toenails need trimmed, your feet reek with a six. Hey. You need to wash. Uh, the night passes uneventfully, and the morning sun begins to dip in the eastern window, illuminating your place. Uh, Ooh, like the is... Claire again. I feel healing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a full night's rest, so you guys should be fully yeah. healed. Yeah. Yeah. The mana core pelt is gone, so it can't be healed. Uh, there is a slight knock on the door. Which one of you wants to Ernie this? Oh, or do you want to Ernie it? it? Like, kill the person at the door. <laughs> I'm not answering. <laughs> uh, Daphne, uh, two of the Telosians are there, and they do this. Because remember, only two of the Telosians could speak, and that was Hempta and her assistants, Talana. I'm guessing we need to go with them outside. To go fishing? I don't oh, know. I thought just <laughs> they got you Schwinn 10 speeds. That's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, uh, we, uh, you know, do the Milo Kunis. Milo, Milo Kunis. I don't know if you are. Nice. Sorry. <laughs> right. Yeah, I got it. Oh. Uh, first roll. Second roll. <laughs> uh, they like Daphne. Uh, Camille's okay. Zadar. No, because they saw me get sick on the ship. <laughs> yeah, your makeup is off or something. Uh, you guys go down and you meet Talana. Uh, and she thinks pensively for a moment and then begins to speak to you in her broken common. Mm -hmm. Hemp to leave problem you come with us to Kurd. Yes. Uh, <laughs> what kind of problem? Yeah. Problem relations. Oh. No, no. So she didn't get laid last night? He has... <laughs> they have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, to, yeah. to, hemp to sleep. Okay. Okay. We'll All right. Where we're on our way. I uh, fix guys, my makeup or whatever. <laughs> everybody roll another perception check as you get outside. And that early morning sun starts burning the retinas. 17. Yep. I the sun. 13. Eight. Uh, Camille, you happen to notice a passerby showing off his new coat, uh, explaining that it is the Nemean lion, and he paid 1,000 gold pieces oh, for the magical oh, pelt. Wow. You recognize the faces, Mufasa, the love interest of the... Is it really war. magical? Probably uh, not, huh? Oh, crap. You put it on. Didn't put it on, didn't oh, wear it, didn't it. try it. Uh, so the Nemean lion is located in Cathaway. Uh, Talana and three guards, uh, significantly less than they had. Apparently, Hempta took a lot of her retinue, but you get Talana and three of the warriors. Uh, they look around, they seem to be a little bit lost, and then uh, one of them takes a big deep breath on the air. Uh, and points. Uh, you guys head that way, and he has correctly found the stables. Mm. Uh, Tolana uh, looks for the proprietor, apparently spots somebody she knows, calls him over, and begins to try and explain. Uh, the individual is, uh, he's a racist pig, uh, probably needs stabbed, but uh, he does not much care for the Tolosians uh, and their lack of ability to speak. He looks at you three and notices you ain't Tolosian. Three 
uh, picks on Zadar and says, are you with this rabble? Yes, we are. <laughs> what do they we want? want? Horses or... Oh, Makes sense now? You, you guys get the last of the ponies. Yes. Yeah. Oh, don't insult the man. <laughs> Lady, I don't like I don't like the way you talk to me. I'm a very hard working owner here. He calls for a stable boy and a stable girl to go get the painted okay. ponies. Painted ponies it is. <laughs> they wait. Talana nods to Zadar, thanking him for easing the skids uh has a little leather pouch throws it at the man no uh but throws it short and it lands in a pile of horse dung and talana goes (laughs) 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 Uh, the man is not happy but being a stable master he's put his hands in worse i'm not gonna offer to press the digitate it either (laughs) Digs it out, has a nice big clot of green crap on his hand. Uh, the boy and the girl bring forth the ponies. There are eight of them. Uh, they are ponies, so Daphne is really going to weigh hers My down. Pony. Uh, yeah, you need a bigger pony. Uh, so you are going to be the slow one, Daphne. Uh, each pony, when I say painted, they look like Mustangs. There's swirls of color on each one mm-hmm. of them. Uh, they seem to be well-trained. They are not skittish at all, not even around the tiefling, uh, which is a big plus. Since you guys have grown up in the city, none of you have the abilities naturally to ride a horse so each one of you will now give me an animal handling skill to see how you do i just picture my feet touch the ground so i just like scoot along that's right i get 20 okay i get i get 16 16 12 classic Actually, all all three of you uh, seem to handle yourself. Daphne, your pony is not going to buck you off because you damn near weigh as much as it does. <laughs> uh, Camille, your pony is very gentil. Each of you roll a die. Odd means it is a female. Even means it is a male. Ugh, I have a male one. Is it even odd? Does it yep. matter what die? Nope. Just odd even. Two. For Zadar. Sorry, odds white male? Female. Female. All right. So you got a female, the other two got males. Uh, Talana <laughs> and the three uh, Talosians, uh, they seem to fit right on their mounts. Uh, at least two of the barbarians slip the mounts something, uh, probably carrot or something, uh, but oh. they have missed their mounts. Uh, with the monetary compensation dunged out, uh, you guys head out. Talana seems to know which way she's going, and you guys clip clop out of the city gates. Uh, yes, it's a uh, <laughs> African Money swallow. Piping. Yes. Yeah. It's an African swallow. You guys head on out uh, and head due north. As you do, you climb up a tall ridge and you see a quartet of individuals coming out of the ground. They look beaten, uh, but happy. Okay. This was this was a callback to a one shot where four adventurers found a dungeon outside of Cathaway on the ridge. Uh, once outside of the city, the air is much clearer, much cleaner, much crisper, and Talana spurs her mount forward and unleashes her hair as she had a bond in it, uh, as do the males of the group. Everybody lets their hair flow free. and So do I. <laughs> Red hair, all <laughs> nice. You, know, you have a good support system under your boobs. <laughs> she, uh, well, she, the, the the corset keeps okay. it. Up. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh, that's that's just gonna make it sting. Uh, <laughs> Talana throws back a piece of parchment first to uh, Daphne, 
then Daphne can toss it to Zadar, and then finally to Camille. It appears to be a map on some kind of unknown hide, and it shows the area of Telosia. And this is what you see, assuming it comes up. Do you guys see it? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Uh, do, do we still have the cameras on it or no? Wait. Um, Are the cameras next to it or does the screen take it up? Oh, the screen takes it up. You can't okay. see us, but it's fine. <laughs> gotcha. So you guys are down here at the bottom uh, in Cathaway. Uh, you notice that blood stains show off several areas. From that, uh, you can surmise that Judah, Zeli, Azin, Edra, Zimna, and Wella are all tribal lands, uh, giving birth to the notion of the disjointed uh, clan system. Uh, in the middle, the Aimu uh, has what appears to be a tower in the center of it. Uh, you notice that there are a few towns in here, uh, but knowing the Telosians as little as you do, these towns are going to be small towns at best. Uh, if you ask, Talana will tell you that uh, Hemta is part of the Judah clan. Hmm. And they have the most towns. Uh, do you have any questions about the map? So um, with all the space in between, it's just like dead space. Grassland. This is the Great so Plain. No one like owns it or is in it. Uh, about 500 years from now, it's going to be called Nebraska. Because okay. <laughs> there is not jack shit there. You so, land in Omaha, you can see Chicago and L.A. That's how flat it is in that state. <laughs> From Nebraska, I'm sorry. I've been there, and Jesus Christ, that land is flat. <laughs> so, uh, yes, it, it is filled with high grasses, uh, red bison, antelope and other are there beef. trees at all Just there are sparse trees there are very few forests you can see a few forests outline but for the most part it's uh scrub trees okay so we need it's to not go completely to flat Aimu. there are going to be gulches and shit like that so we're heading to the center yes uh you seem to be headed towards this area which is called uh kawan Uh, and it will take, maybe if I read my shit first, uh, <laughs> Talana points out it will take a day and a half to get there. Okay. You notice that the ponies are quite fast, and even in the high grasses make excellent time. Are they ramblers? Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. They are ramblers. However, uh, they only move in a straight line, so they will be called banthas. Mm. Okay. All right. After your first day of travel, you spot a few uh, creatures of note. Uh, nothing large, just uh, medium-sized animals. Talana will point out to you that the area that you are headed to near Wolf Lake is home to the Katai tribe. Uh, they have no real power in this area, hence the map shows no Katai. They are more wanderers. She will also point out that the emu do not exist anymore. Uh, they were the base of power in Telosia, and uh, once the great disturbance occurred, uh, those people were forced out and now live semi-nomadic lives. Uh, the Katai would be part of the emu people. So the emu, the emu clan technically does not exist anymore. Mm. But they were the long-held uh, rulers of the land. Hence, the Tower of the Kurd is in their domain, or their old domain. Questions? Nope, um, nope not at this point. Not yet. See, this is the shit Scott loves lore, baby. Uh, lore! <laughs> Day one passes uh, uneventfully. Uh, day two begins early. Talana wants to get to the town in a, in a kind of reasonable hour. 
Uh, however, there is an issue. Oh, of course. About two hours into it, uh, the uh, column that you are in, led by Talana, stops. She holds up her hand. Uh, her three associates move up, and they are discussing something ahead. Hmm. What's up ahead? I go, him. Yeah, what's, what's going up? on? She causes you to silence, and she motions you to come up. Yeah. <laughs> all, th all three of you are just Camille. I guess all three of us. Okay. I properly ride my horse. Do you have the equestrian helmet on? Where? Uh, before you Superman that shit. Uh, as you she get starts up, dressaging. <laughs> you are on a small rise. Uh, down below in a valley is a herd of red buffalo. Mm. Nice. These creatures are magnificent. They have long red beards that glisten in the sun. They are essentially American bison. Uh, and mm. you can tell... Uh, even though they are not speaking common, the guys they uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. they want to make a move. <laughs> well, let's let's do this because you do have one pony uh, that is just used to carry stuff. Uh, Talana oh, seems okay. to be skeptical. You, you do. There's three of them and Talana. Oh, three. okay. Okay. So Talana seems to be questionable about it but finally acquiesces uh broad smiles across the face of the telosian frontiersmen uh and they begin to move off uh they look at talana look at you look at talana look at you and talana says um Do you want to hunt? Oh, <laughs> uh, hunt the buffalo with us. I don't want to kill them, but I will help you. Could be magical buffalo. Probably not. <laughs> I mean, She's like, okay. Like, I'll, like, you know, distract them so you guys can get, you know, a spear Cam in, but I'm not doing the killing. Camille's the conscientious objector. <laughs> okay. Even though I'm the necromancer. <laughs> so, Talana, blah, 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 blah uh, and says, uh, you, Camille, and she apparently wants you to go to the left and swoop in while they move to the right and try and catch uh, Zadar and Daphne, what would you like to do? Um, um, I don't know if I'm comfortable with Camille going by herself. <laughs> so. I am short. Yeah. Do you want to go with her? Yeah, I'll go with her. What about you, Daphne? Yeah, I'll go with her. We'll, we'll yeah, party. we'll we'll be the one. We'll be the drivers. You know, okay. we'll, Yeah. So we're going to do the pincer move. Okay, mm -hmm. fair enough. Yeah. Uh, everybody give me a stealth check. Mm, ooh. 16. 22. 13. Bombadilla, bombadilla. <laughs> While two members of the party are quite sneaky, uh, the long horns of the tiefling uh, cause the herd... Maybe they think she's one of them. It's more of the smell. <laughs> oh, uh, Daphne, go ahead and D12 off with me, please. And One. Uh, undeterred, a slight breeze picks up from the buffalo towards you, putting you downwind and allow you all to move around. You move down the incline onto the basin. Uh, how would you like to herd these puppies? 
I'm looking for direction from the Telosians. Yeah. They there. They went to the right. What the uh, hell? They didn't tell us dr- what to do. You're gonna drive them towards them. Oh yeah, we're gonna drive them towards them. Okay, so, so yeah, let's uh huh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty yeah, much. One, one charger. Mm-hmm. Wait, so don't we want the buffaloes? Or buffalo bison to see us? And we're trying you, to like- you want the bison to see you and be afraid of you so that they run to Towards- the right where the Telosians are at. Yeah. Okay, so I start yelling Xena style. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, Daphne, what are you doing? I mean, I feel like I just need to, like, stand up. <laughs> yeah. Or let the wind waft over. <laughs> yeah, just waft over. Uh, I have one charger, one yeller, and one stander. Uh, everybody give me intimidation checks. All right. I'm hoping yeah. they're skittish. Six. <laughs> Eleven. Twenty-four. Okay, two of you don't scare the shit out of them at all. Daphne, however, has certainly captured their attention, uh, being one of them, uh, in essence. Uh, However, they will startle. Will they run at you or away from you? Oh. They run away from you, uh, headed Uh, towards where the Telosians are. Uh, As Camille gives her... (laughs) Oh, screaming Al Akbar or something. I'm not exactly sure what the hell's going on. Um, you guys, uh, Zadar, you charge forward. Uh, Daphne, you are standing on, standing over your mount. Uh, <laughs> you seem to be taking off. Do you want to join Zadar in the chase? And the same question for Camille. Yeah, I'll go. Okay, you guys head that way. Uh, You have started a stampede. Uh, You have never felt this before, and give me an intimidation check against yourselves. Oh, okay. Oh, I hope I roll. (laughs) Thank God, seven. (laughs) (laughs) Ha ha, two. Wow, six, I rolled a nat one. Uh, The cushion of your ponies... uh, displaces most of the thunderous movement there's probably mm-hmm. 50 60 of these creatures in there that as they all band together there's a whole lot of shaking going on here but down to the far side you see four telosians swooping in uh, and they seem to have eyeballed one adult bison in particular uh, that they're going to go after the closer you three ride towards the bison, the more you realize, holy shit, these fucking things are huge. <laughs> uh, so who wants to D12 against me this time? Oh, I will, I guess. Uh, I guess. 12. Yeah. Oh, Lord, that is, yeah, that's. Five. A cow breaks off from the main pack and heads towards you guys. She is going to head towards six. Daphne, uh, everybody roll initiative for the wild bison. Oh. Nine. And come on, big bucks, no whammies. Eight. Fifteen. Teen ties with the bison. Uh, Daphne, you two are on a collision course. The cow does not appear to like you, and shit's about to happen. She is charging. I'll let you go first, and then I will go. All right. I guess uh, I can just do Divine Smite at any time. Like, do I say I'm going to use that right now? So much for not killing the bison. Oh, we're not supposed to kill it? That's up to you. Oh, 16 to hit? Oh, yeah. Easily hits the bison. Okay. Yes. 
It's like she's rolling in the toilet. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> 17 damage? 17 damage. Uh, as the two parties collide, uh, Daphne Divine smites the creature. However, at the same time, you want to be odd or do you want your mount to be odd? I'll be odd. Five. It's going to go after you, and it is going to go for. Uh, we'll go for ramming speed. Oh, Lord. <laughs> 16 plus 5 is 21. Wow, yeah, that hits. Uh, oh, and since it's charging, it gets an additional 2d6. Murder Hobo dice, folks. Did Hannah ever get hers? Uh, I don't know. I didn't ask her. You want me to shout? Nah. David, did you get yours? Uh, not yet. Not okay. yet. Uh, Daphne, 8 hit points of damage. Uh, next up Ooh. is the nine, Camille. The two participants crash into each other. Uh, the cow continues on towards you guys. Um, mm, mm. I should really screw you guys and have it have a baby or something uh, <laughs> like it's a mom. we can name it norman <laughs> it's true. Right. uh you got to be old to know that one yeah <laughs> tell anybody today curly they ain't over yet <laughs> they ain't over yet <laughs> nice so i take off trying to lead her away from everybody else so you run yes Zadar, you're up. Okay, I am gonna bonus action hex the the cow. Cow, <laughs> and uh, it is also going to have to make a Constitution saving throw. Fifteen's the con. Fifteen is the roll. Okay. Uh, con plus two, seventeen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Safe. Safe. All right. Anything else? Uh, I, I'm uh, okay. Uh, on that note, then I am going to, as my action, fire the crossbow. It's probably not going to do much, but sure. All right. It's um twenty six to hit. Oh yeah, easily. And yeah, it's not going to be much. Seven points of damage. Fair enough. New round, Daphne. Uh, it continued on. Uh, so you're going to have to chase it down or use a missile weapon since you're large. Uh, the chances of you chasing it down are slim. Well, we don't need to chase it down, do we? No, but if she wants to kill it, she's going to have to chase it down or use a missile weapon. That's like a cousin. You can't do that. <laughs> Is yeah. there a <laughs> well, you're part, you got you arms. Partly bovine. <laughs> Maybe that's why I want to kill it. So wait, how far away is it? Uh, it was charging, and you were charging at it. So it's opposite direction. It's probably 25 away. Oh, I don't even think I would be able to even make a throwing. Well, you know, we're looking out for spells. <laughs> Hey, why not? <laughs> I always forget about all this stuff. It'll be 50, 25 and 25. I don't know if I really attack. Hmm. Nah, darkness. <laughs> yeah, broad daylight, you're going to create a sphere of darkness around. Fog loud. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> Slow motion, this bison running, running through the fog. <laughs> I'm so scared. You don't see where it's coming from, but you do hear it. So are you you going to let it run, Daphne? Yeah, I guess we let it run. Uh, D12 against me, Camille. Let's see if it's going to chase you or veer off. Three. Coming after you. What do you want to do? <laughs> Head you, can, you can match its speed because you're small. 
i.e. it can't catch you. I <laughs> just see them running in the distance. Okay, so I take my little pony and I run around making a U-turn. Okay, Zadar, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to try to head her off. <laughs> like, like At the pass? Up. Yeah. Okay. So, do I have to roll? You are, what, a human size? Yeah, human size. Uh, yeah, d12 against me. Okay. Eight. Uh, six. Uh, you aren't going to catch it. If okay. you want to use missile weapons, you can. Or magic, How you can. Otherwise, close, do I get within 15 feet of it by any chance? Negative 20 feet. Uh quite enough oh well you know i'm gonna try it i've never tried this on an animal before but sure. uh it's gonna have to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> uh, can they roll with hoofs <laughs> 11 zero 11 <laughs> okay I don't know if it understands a language, but I just cast Tasha's hideous laughter at it. Oh, no, you don't speak bovine, so it wouldn't hear it. So. Okay. Uh, it's worth a shot, guys. It's a shot. Uh, Camille, D12. Nine. Five. Uh, it continues to chase you, but you seem to be out distancing it a little bit, like it's getting tired. Okay, I keep going one more d12 roll Ugh. two re-roll i got a two three two uh it gives up okay uh ahead of you guys you're a mom give up uh ahead of you guys you notice the large bison that the telosians picked out is on its side and they stand proudly over it watching what is going on with you guys as you canter on up most of the herd has moved off including the female cow that is injured uh and, hey you guys attack that shit don't, attack don't be it. don't be bitching at the dm man that was all daphne it. she's the, she's the raging bitch of the group <laughs> <laughs> uh the telosians seem to be you know what everybody roll persuasion Let's see if you can persuade him into thinking you're something special. Oh, God, no. Uh, Jesus, uh, I got a zero. <laughs> how did you get a zero? Because I got one and my persuasion's negative one. All right. Wow. Okay, 23. Wow. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, uh, you have gained favor with them. Uh, oh, it was my idea. The hell? I guess because you didn't damage it, that might uh, uh, you know. uh, 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 <laughs> uh they, they, <laughs> they think it is quite funny. Uh, the large buffalo uh, suffered multiple stab wounds. It Ooh. did not go easy, and one of the Telosian uh, warriors is kind of banged up, uh, yeah, as is his mount. Uh, he is going to have to switch out his mount with the other mount uh, in the hopes that it will be okay. They quickly butcher it with an amazing speed and skill, noting that all four of them have done this many times over. Uh, and they cut off long strips of meat and offer each one of you this raw meat-like substance. Uh, should you not Can be we in... try it first? Of course. If you taste it, give me a constitution check. I'm not tasting it. I'll take it. I'll dry it on the height of my horse. <laughs> we have salt. Do you ask? Mm -hmm. D12 against me? Eleven. Uh, Talana goes over to her saddlebags and pulls forth kosher rock salt. I take the salt and a piece of meat. Okay. 
And I want to like rub the salt on the meat. <laughs> what? She's making jerky. Yes, I, I know, but they do not know what you're doing. Uh, Zadar, what do you want to do? Uh, I will take the meat and I will thank them for him. And using my magic, I will freeze it and just flash freeze freeze dry it. Uh, freeze Talana, it. the the four of them are puzzled, and and they they talk to Talana, and Talana asks, uh. Why do you pull your meat? Nice. <laughs> you knew that joke was Have coming. Have them taste yeah. it now. Yeah. Are you going to let them taste your meat? <laughs> Eat my meat. Lick it. It's your meat. Hey. Uh... <laughs> I was going to make a joke. Nothing beats Caitlin's meat. There you go. <laughs> Caitlin, there's your next stalker right there. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> the collection. Yeah. <laughs> Do you offer them your meat? Yeah, I'm like, here, try it. It's a great idea. Uh, are you ready for this? Oh, boy. Sure. One, one, four, five. Each of them spit the meat out. Wow. Oh, wow. Healthy. They are not fans. Uh, they quickly skinned the beast. Uh, apparently, one of the males uh, took credit for it, for the kill. However, Talana took the head. So uh, you can surmise that one did the killing stroke and one did the majority of damage is how it right. goes. Mm -hmm. uh, they loaded up on the wounded pony and head north at a canter. Does anybody uh, have healing? Um, I do not. I am healing not a healer. Healing? healing. Paladin does. Yeah, I do. Can you heal the pony? Whose pony? The wounded pony. The Talosian's pony? Oh, uh, they're not going to eat it? Not the pony. It's carrying <laughs> the meat. <laughs> yes, let's kill our luggage handler. <laughs> you think Game of Thrones? Yeah, I guess I do it. Sure. Uh, the Talosian is very happy and gives you an extra hunk of meat. And the eyeball. Uh, you notice that the other Talosians are... Uh, apparently the eyeball is considered a delicacy. Oh, this is all my idea and I get shit for it. <laughs> and there's not even any coffee or cheese here. <laughs> Uh, after loading everything up, uh, again, you are headed off on a canter, and you reach the uh, stockade fence of Quan. Uh, as, as you okay. enter, guards on the top of the stockade have spotted you. Uh, essentially, this is an Old West fort, like Fort Apache or uh, Fort Brave. Right? So John Wayne is there? Yeah, now it's more of F Troop. Than, I was going to uh, say more F Troop. <laughs> yeah, more F Troop than uh, John Wayne, John Ford kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, as the gates open, you are allowed entry. You can surmise that this is on the edge of Judah, so this is friendly territory. Uh, upon seeing you enter, you are the focus of everyone, including small children who chase ducks and hens around. Uh, as you enter in, uh, initially they spot the bison, uh, the Talosian that killed it, begins to throw hunks of meat to everybody. Wow. Apparently it's a custom, uh, which you are unfamiliar with. Keep in mind, you do not know much about the Talosian people, so there's that. An attractive female comes running up to the generous man. Uh, he jumps off of his mount and embraces her wildly. As he spins her around, you notice a papoose Aww. on her back. How cool. uh, you can surmise that uh, this is his mate. Uh, I hope so. So, uh, hate to see some disgruntled yeah. <laughs> Talosian over there. He, uh, 
reaches in and holds the optic nerve of the other eyeball uh. and gives it to her. She gives him a warm embrace, uh, hands it back to him and spins around, and he feeds it to the child. Gross, is it the child? What is his name? Grobthar, whatever. <laughs> What? By Grobthar's <laughs> hammer. <laughs> yes, oh. These are the uh, blood ticks that are Dr. Lazarus. Uh, uh, <coughs> apparently, uh, this is common. Nobody seems to take notice of it. One of the other Talosian warriors uh, reaches into the bag and starts handing the meat out to everybody. So uh, it's a very... Festive. Uh, it's a socialist group of bastards. That's oh. what it is. Uh, uh, but everybody gets a big hunk of meat. Uh, and they are welcomed aboard. And nobody uh, wants Daphne's meat because it's salty. Oh. They, they actually point at Daphne. Mm. <laughs> uh, Talana talks to several people, military-esque, maybe leaders of uh, this town discuss it in their own language uh, so who wants to roll a 20 against me uh, I will yeah I'm losing my stuff again losing your shit uh, 13 five uh, they seem speculative at first but uh, if Talana says you guys are okay I helped you take down the okay. bison uh, yeah, by running around. By running around. <laughs> I'm just going to call you Ernie, man. <laughs> What'd you do? Just ran around and Just ran around and Right there. <laughs> Ernie would have said, I sit on my horse and I watch. Yeah. I sit uh, on my horse and I watch. You guys, uh, are, the crowd kind of warms up to you. They are not certain at all about the tiefling. Not tiefling? Yep, not you. They're uh Concerned at the uh, horns, evil horn looking thing. Uh, but after the meat is divvied out, uh, the two male warriors uh, go off and uh, go cruising for chicks. Talana stays uh, near you guys and explains mm -hmm. to the people who you are and what you're doing. The village elders look a little bit perplexed, but Okay. Uh, the, what? Go ahead. The children uh, approach after, you know, a, a little bit of time because they aren't sure if you're evil or prisoners or what. <laughs> uh, and they're going to go up to Daphne and her <laughs> pony. And they're just. That's a great idea. How does that thing carry you? <laughs> and they're looking at you. What do you want to do about that, Daphne? <laughs> scare the fuck out of them what i i guess i could like turn real sharp and be like yes can i help you like real quick uh give me an intimidation check <laughs> oh no 21 interesting roll uh most of the kids go running but one boy maybe six or seven stands uh, adamantly and does not move. My next human meat shield. Since he can't understand you, he pulls out something from behind his back and it looks like a small tomahawk carved from wood. What's that? A Camille tomahawk? Goes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a hand axe. Okay. But it's made out of wood because he's six. Oh, like he wants to fight me? Does a 19 hit you? Why is he going to, yeah, why is he going to stab me? He's going to whack you. Uh, now, give me a dexterity check to see if you kick him in the face because he whacked you in the knee and that might have that caused a jerk reaction. <laughs> 21. You kick him. <laughs> <laughs> He uh, give me a down and says, wait. Give me a D6 on the damage roll. Three. Uh, the kid is knocked back. You launch him. 
10 feet into the air. He lands on his ass. The wooden tomahawk goes flying off. He sits up quickly. He looks around. And then you see it. Does he cry? He poop himself? You see the, the, the quivering of the lip. Oh, no. And then... <laughs> <laughs> because Carrie loves kids crying. There, there's the, there's <laughs> the wind up and there's the pitch. <laughs> Uh, a mother comes over. Uh, give me a persuasion check, Daphne. Let's see how she. But hey, I interjected. Eleven. It can go either way. Uh, since she interjected, you can re-roll. I'll give you advantage on it. Seventeen. Uh, she chastises, in your opinion, the child, uh, picks up the wooden tomahawk, looks at you, gives you a nod, and hustles the child away. <laughs> so, uh, with that done, Talana comes over, uh, and says, we will bed down for the night here. Uh, they are going to have a festival in our honor, uh, at sundown. Okay. So, uh, because because this is frontier land, you guys are gonna have teepees. Woohoo! Uh, Talana, uh, since uh, uh, I'm asking a question. Sure. Is there either coffee or cheese here? Yeah, I was gonna ask. Is anybody preparing food? Because I'd like to observe and watch their food preparation. Oh, not, me. not for a couple hours. Oh, okay. uh, but they do have goat cheese. Because <gasps> they got goats here. I need to go have goat cheese. Okay. Uh, Talana will tell you to stay out of not go in. Kitchen uh, area. Teepees. Okay. Uh, domiciles. Ah, okay. Do not go into domiciles. Uh, that uh, and points to a an older kind of rundown teepee. Uh, you uh, rest if one there so uh she directs you to a tp slash lodging uh where you guys can freshen up a little bit mm. uh cool water from the creek will be brought to you uh things of that nature it's nicer yeah. than a room in cathaway <laughs> yeah, you will be allowed to roam the settlement uh it's not very big there's maybe 200 people here yeah. maybe 40 tents uh and they all seem to be the same size. Each, however, is decorated differently as you go inside the tent. As you will recall from the mansion that you explored, the interior on the second floor is reminiscent of the interior of these tents. They are clean. Uh, there is a fire pit in the center nice. and, and several, for lack of a better term, hides uh, to lay on. Uh, but during the course of the day, uh, general activity, these guys appear to be hunter gatherers, uh, and some farmers, uh, they call it maize. <laughs> uh, so the word. <laughs> uh, I, I've been holding that one for a while. Uh, they, uh, it was going to be beer refreshing hams, but I went with, uh, the corn. Nice. Uh, you guys can go around. None of these people will be able to talk to you at all. As it are in a few hours, they will begin preparation for food, uh, for the festivities. Uh, other than that, is there anything you guys would like to do in Hicksville? <laughs> uh, I'm going to observe them with their food preparation. And I mean, if they ask if I want to help, uh, Sure, I'll help. I'll cut vegetables, meat, whatever. <laughs> Daphne, a grizzled old man approaches you with about a billion wrinkles, smoking a strange little, like, hobbit pipe. And he says, you're a no, hobbit. No. He eyeballs you. Kind of pokes at you. That's rude. Trying to give me an insight check, Daphne. Fifteen. 
15. Uh, it looks like he's gauging you as to what are you kind of thing. Uh, your new god. I was about to say, you got thaumaturgy, don't you? <laughs> Poke him back. I'll just, like, pet his head. <laughs> he likes it. <laughs> here, 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 here. He, right, for lack back. of a better term, chuckles. Nice. <laughs> Takes a drag on his pipe and offers it to you. Yeah, I want to take a drag. Give me a con check. Let's see if you like it. Oh, yeah. You think? Uh, 20, not natural. Uh, the bittersweet taste of it is reminiscent of a little bit of brimstone topped off by something that you aren't familiar with, but a feeling of euphoria comes over you. Nice. Opium. And more like peyote, but, you know, not that we advocate illegal drugs. We folks. don't, folks. We don't. <laughs> Uh, but it's got to be flavor for the game. So uh, they're going to smoke a little peyote with you. Uh and he will motion for you to follow him. Me or is everyone else coming too? Just you. He doesn't give a shit about the others. You come to find out he's not really there and it's just Wait, a vision quest. <laughs> <laughs> you form a band called The Doors. Am mm -hmm. I allowed to invite my party members with me? Oh, wait, no, you guys are all doing different things. Mm, I think so. Yeah, we're too far away. All right, I guess I'm going to get real relaxed. You are going to be relaxed. Yeah, I'll go with him. He takes you to his tent. Ooh. Do you want to go in? His personal tent? You assume. How much bigger sure. is she than him? Oh, she's... She could kick his oh, ass. Okay. Yeah. Do you sure. go in? Yeah, I go in. He has more of his herbal remedy in there, but also on the inside of his tent, painted on the canvas, appears to be something historical. Give me an arcana check. Can I just ask him what it is? He doesn't speak your language. It's eight. I don't know what it is. The language of love. That's right. Maybe hey. uh, give him a little tongue in the ear and he'll go ahead and learn your it's, lingo, Dorio. Uh, it's okay. velvet posters, you know, black light. That's right. Elvis. There's an Elvis in there. There's somewhere. a velvet Elvis. Yeah, he, he's got the Indian beaded jacket with the fringe yeah. and, and a black headpiece made from raven's feathers. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> nice. Uh, we found the king. That's right. Daphne, uh, you'll go ahead and smoke peyote with him, uh, but you will not know what is written on the inside of his tent. Camille, you and Talana go ahead and tour. She gives you the nickel and dime show of everything. Uh, in her broken language, she explains to you that these people are both hunters and gatherers. They, like any of the towns in Telosia, uh, do farming. Uh, so these guys are not nomadic in nature. Uh, she will explain again in broken language that most of them are from the Judah clan. However, some are emu uh, because they had nowhere else to go. Uh, she will explain that this is a peaceful community. The walls are there to protect them from the natural predators, mostly wolves. So do the emu and the Judah clan intermix? Yes. Everybody is descended from the emu clan. It was so the primary... there's like no racism or anything like that? No. Okay. Not here. There is some racism. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it racism. Tribalism. Tri yeah. Tribalism. Yeah. Uh, mostly from the Emu clan who are considered barbaric, which is kind of a hoot considering Telosians in general are considered barbarians. Uh, so these uh, nomads, the wanderers, are more barbaric than others. Uh, in this region, 
uh, there is a large dire wolf population, hence the stockade fence. Mm. So they're not yeah. friends with the dire wolves? No, they are not. The dire wolves eat the chickens, the goats, and the children at times. No, oh, dire wolves got to eat. That's true. Uh, you notice that they have, <clears throat> excuse me, a non segregated uh, division of labor. Uh, as Zadar is about to find out, male and female help prepare meals. Male and female help do cleaning, nice. water gathering. It's a very uh, equal system. Nice. So, is there anything you would like to ask Talana? Where's the goat cheese? She will take you over to the goat herders, uh, and they will entertain after Talana explains who you are uh, and give you a hunk of cheese. Go ahead and give me a con check. She's hankering for a hunk of cheese. There you go. <laughs> 20. Oh, yeah. That's good shit. Uh, so Zidar, is there anything I can give them in return for the cheese? Beads? You want to own Manhattan? Well, no. I just, <laughs> does money mean anything to them here? No. Okay, so how about some of the meat that I got. Yeah, they'll take the meat. I'll take. The, I'll give them that. Okay, they appreciate that. That that is a fair trade. Uh, Zadar, you find the culinary station. As I said earlier, everything is equal. Mm -hmm. uh, the men and women participate uh, equally, and they appear to be prepping the bison meat from the recent kill. Uh, give me a perform check on your ability to help them since you can't talk to them. Okay. I'll do my best to follow instructions. Uh, okay, 17. Uh, you seem to be doing well. Um, let's see who you get. Uh, you get a male, a uh, fat, portly male. Uh, he, he takes meat. Mm-hmm hands you reluctantly a knife, takes another piece of meat, and begins to cut it a very specific way, mm -hmm. and then... Slide a hand check? No, he, he's pointing at Look you. Look for me to do it, right? Yes. Or, that, that, um, that is what seems to be the general theme right and i'm gonna comply so do i roll a sleight of hand check <laughs> you can do that or a performance either one okay i'm a uh, or a dexterity straight up hmm. See if this is okay uh i'm gonna go for sleight of hand okay. uh not bad 20 not natural he looks at it watches you uh, pats you on the back and goes bam <laughs> nice. <Wow. laughs> yes. uh, he throws you another hunk of meat. He throws another hunk of meat. Mm -hmm. He does this. And he starts chopping it up. Okay, all right. There we go. So D20, see if you can beat him. If you okay. roll a one, you're going to be nine fingers. <laughs> 17. Uh, oh. 14. So, okay. yeah. Uh, he is impressed. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Makes the noise. Uh, for the next hour or so, you help him cook. There's a large cast iron pot, which seems a little bit out of place, but yeah. clearly it's been traded. Uh, Camille, you will find a smithy uh, that go ahead and take care of basic necessities. They do not do weapons aside from arrowheads. Daphne, you are... Feeling great. Oh, <laughs> good, man. Uh, roll a d20. Just straight up d20 against me. Me? Yep. All right. 11. Uh, after a couple of hours, you think, you aren't sure, you snap to attention. Uh, the sun is starting to set, and you are covered in a fox pelt. The old man is nowhere to be seen. Wow. You passed out before he did, and he decided to cover you up. Is there a bouquet uh, here? 
There is new, no bukake here. Oh. Uh, <laughs> That's an inside joke. <laughs> yes, you have I not, know what that means. <laughs> you, you have not been violated. He was very nice. Uh, you can hear revelry outside Daphne, and as you open up the tent flap, uh, you notice everybody is gathering. Uh, Camille and Zadar, yeah. fuck, you don't know where she went. Yeah. <laughs> you lost her. She's probably dead. No. Uh, guys toured or Camille you toured the uh, settlement Zadar you helped make the food with your new friend uh, Frontier Emerald That's it. and uh, <laughs> it uh, has come time to eat several giant uh, soup cauldrons are there as well as fire pits where they just uh, BBQ this shit uh, you guys nice. may choose barbecue uh, or the stew Oh, barbecue all the way, baby. Yeah, barbecue, but, you know, if I can, I'll, I'll try a little st stew later, right. too. Daphne? All right. Barbecue <laughs> or stew? Stew. Okay, uh. everybody roll constitution, see how you like it. All right. <laughs> oh, man. I feel like the stew could have a bunch of stuff in it, so can we go? <laughs> 58. <laughs> I apparently don't like it. Uh, Daphne and Camille, you notice that uh, there's got an arrowhead. <laughs> there's uh, a little bit of hair yeah. left on it. You aren't sure what blind asshole cut this meat up, but uh, it tastes blammy instead. Uh, so there's a little bit of fur on it, but uh, other than that, it is edible. There's not a problem. Uh, as the sun sets off in the distance, a wolf howls. Uh, nobody seems to take notice of it, and it sounds, sounds like a regular old wolf to you guys. A large bonfire has been set up in one corner of the settlement, and everybody gathers around. Daphne, you notice the old man uh, has taken center stage and apparently is giving a rendition of something. <laughs> Uh, Talana seeks you three out. <clears throat> I'm assuming you guys are going to stay close together. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and she explains uh, uh, tribal shaman uh, story of the elder. She is very good. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not as to seem to understand. And enthusiastic. Uh, a story begins to unfold and the people are gathered around. The oratory is extremely captivating to these people uh, and it appears to have an ex a historical uh, content. Tulana asks if you would like for her to go ahead and explain. Yes. She explains uh, that it is a historical account as the shaman s explains how the emu people using advanced technology and stonework were able to go ahead and cover the great lands of the telosia um, that's right <laughs> nice okay uh they uh the a lot of it is lost it's like listening to uh i don't know Hitler tapes or something. You can't really get into the content itself, but apparently uh, the explanation is that the emu uh, would only mate with themselves uh, as in uh, mm. lineage. Mm. Not like brother or sister? So, so it... Yes. Uh, so it's it was Kentucky? a line of only... Kentucky. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> the, gra the great shithead king mcconnell <laughs> uh was the last of the line because uh he couldn't stop turtling up uh but apparently the emu people died out and there was a great problem that occurred uh something damaged the emu landscape uh, the emu people were fractured and had to move off with the lesser clans. Uh, this was over 200 years ago. Since then, uh, many of the warrior braves, male and female, 
uh, because there is no sexism in Telosia, unlike the others, uh, have ventured forth to prove their bravery into the old emu lands. Yeah. And they report uh, that the high tower, which is where the king and or queen always sat uh, and held dominion, was essentially Ufka or haunted. Huh. Oh, okay. That's what haunted means is Ufka. Uh, and you can see the shaman. Uh, so this Ufka um, is apparently continues today. Talana leans in uh, U3 Ufka. We kill the Ufka. Your job is to go into the temple of the Kurd and deal with whatever the hell's in there. Uh, <laughs> so, so that the leader of the Judah can rightfully claim her place <laughs> in the lineage. So I lean in and go, and where is Hemta again? Hemta had to go uh, back. Right. But why? Uh, there is a problem with the other clans. I didn't think the clans interacted. They do not. So what problem is there? The Wella and the Zimna have, uh, done the dirty? Uh, come together. Uh, the two two of the clans have entered into a union okay. uh, that would threaten uh, Hemta's dominion over the land. Okay. And she has had to go to her home base mm -hmm. uh, and presumably going to deal with it. So now you can pretty much determine that there is going to be not a sense of great urgency, but fiddle fucking around is probably going to go poorly uh, if she cannot be crowned, for lack of a better term. Ordained. Ordained is a good one. Uh, mm -hmm. Before the Wella and the Zimna get another clan on their side. Mm -hmm. uh, so far, what Talana can tell. How far away are the Wella and the Zimna? Mm -hmm. She pulls out the skin. You are here. Okay. Interesting. Okay. okay. Yeah, it only took it only took you a day and a half to travel that far. So this isn't Texas mm -hmm. per se, but it's it's not Rhode Island. It's not Jersey. It's not Jersey. Nope. Hey, oh, hey, why you gotta do that to Jersey? Go back, hey, go come back on. to Jersey, you Come bum. on, <laughs> uh, get some wise guys after you. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, there's no wise guys in Jersey. <laughs> hey, oh, they're all dead. <laughs> hey, oh, they're all tanning out on the some literary nice. shit beach or something. Huh? Walking around in their Speedos. Uh, <laughs> their Speedo that. and their uh, white wife beater tank top. <laughs> and the gold chains. <laughs> There you go. See, that's hey, that's what who's that's that? what's. Dannon. Okay. I love her yogurt. Her <laughs> <laughs> yogurt. Dan yogurt. Yogurt. They, they don't have that in Jersey. Uh, so okay, so that that's what you're looking at. So the western edge of joined forces, and that could spell some doom. Obviously, Talana can't really articulate that very well, but you get the gist of it. Mm -hmm. So there is a struggle. But as you can see, Judah is by far and away at least the largest land mass in Telosia. Uh, but there's uh, there's friction there. Not everything is joy town. Okay. So uh, with your bellies full, a nice little story. Uh, there is another wolf cry. However, people take notice of this one. Okay. Why this one? It sounds incredibly different. Hmm. Yeah, we have the walls though, right? You do have the walls. Well then, what's the problem? Uh, well, uh, give me perception checks. 
All of us? Yep. Right. Oh, Lord. Six. Thirteen. What are we rolling? Perception? Perception. Mm -hmm. uh, perception is twelve. Uh, Daphne, you hear the term maca thrown around. Mostly by the kids. Macarena. Close. <laughs> They're like, whoop. Do you want to ask? Yes. Uh, Talana points out that Maka is... Uh, uh, the uh, Talosian uh, boogeyman? Um, creature uh, like uh, us, but wolf hair and mm. claws. Werewolf? Apparently it's a werewolf is what the maca is. Uh, certainly the kids are going to be frightened. Uh, Talana kind of shakes her head and says uh, um, big wolf. Dire wolves. Mm. Uh, we are safe here. Hmm. Oh, Why is everybody upset? Take that at face value. <laughs> but it's, uh, they're scared because it's kind of close. <laughs> yeah, but it's on the outside. They have gates. Mm -hmm. Like Talana said, you guys will be safe here. Okay. Or locked in and then unsafe. <laughs> you're locked in they're gonna just lob fire into you so uh, we go back to our teepee and now not so fast there uh daphne do you go back to the teepee or do you go back with your new friend who clearly you were mistaken it's a chick true it's danny devito nice oh i know it'd be rita perlman yeah, Rhea Perlman. It's Rhea Perlman. I'm going to look up this name. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know anything. I don't know. It, okay. look, at, look up Cheers. No, I got it. I got her. Do you know who Ted Danson is? No. Do you know who Danny DeVito is? I don't know. Do I? He's on uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, okay, I know. He's the that. short, fat guy. Yeah, okay, yeah. I know who he is. Okay. He, and, he and Rhea Perlman were married. Oh, she was Carla yeah, out of Cheers. Very brass. Do you woman. know who what Taxi was? Who Taxi was almost before your time. <laughs> I watched that. Yeah, on reruns. Whatever. <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, oh, so that's the one I hung out with before that put the box tail on me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll go back with her. Okay, uh, so you guys go back, uh, lay down for the night, because you got warm, fat bellies from the food and the soup, and everything's groovy. Everybody roll a d20. Ooh, 20. Nine. Ten. Uh, Daphne, Zadar, you guys are just zonked out. <laughs> uh, Camille... <sighs> you gotta pee. I really do. So as you get outside the tent, uh, you notice that it is a full moon. Ergo, the maca. You know. Uh, but as you take a squat, or a papa squat, as they say, uh, you notice along the ramparts, there are two Tolosian guards and two Tolosian guards, each holding spears. Wait, they're watching me pee? No, they're watching outside the walls. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that would be unsettling. With your 20, you hear a zing! Oh, baby! Axe damage. Uh, you hear the zing, and an arrow hits the guy on your right towards the back of the community, and he pitches off the wall odd inside odd inside uh off the wall before his friend can react another arrow comes over 18 
maximum damage and he has to take a knee but as he does so he grabs a horn and begins to blow thank god it appears the, as though you are under attack on that side what would you like to do camille well, I have to alert everyone. So I have to do this. Hey, Zuna guys. <laughs> What's up? Uh, don't mean to bother you, but... Hey, we're under attack, FYI. Uh, okay, you do your Xena yell. Do you want to charge up the ladder and see what the fuck's going on? Yes. Uh, let's take a pot shot at you. Six. Uh, just as you get to the top... Another arrow goes sailing over your head, and in the moonlight, you see four wolves approaching. How are they shooting arrows at us? Give me an investigation check. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, straight up d20s. Ooh. 19. 19. We straight up D20s? Yep. 20. Uh, Daphne and Zadar, you are roused from your sleep and start to try and figure out what the hell's going on. Uh, Camille, they're dressed in wolf pelts. These are people. Fuckers. Creeping forward. Uh, what would you like to do? Any of these? <laughs> um, you guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Like, I see no, we're gonna you. Fuck them up. That's what we're gonna do. As soon as I figure out what I'm doing. Um. How about Thunder Wave? Ha <laughs> Nice choice. Uh, what's my save? Um, hang on. <laughs> oh, bad. <laughs> oh, my rolls have started to tank. Constitution saving throw. Yeah, they're going to fail. An 8, a 7, a 6, and a 2. How much damage do they take? I have no idea. While you do that, Zadar, you and Daphne uh, exit your respective teepees. Give me an investigation check to see if you notice what the hell's going on. Two what eight. incarnation's going on here with the natural wand? <laughs> 13. Uh, Zadar, you look out of your teepee and you see the two guards on the left but you don't know what's going on. Daphne bathed in moonlight is the diminutive form of your associate. Uh, she is up on the fucking ramparts and you see her hands. <laughs> she, oh my God. Oh no. She's having night terrors again. Uh, that's right. She is, <laughs> her night terrors are going downhill with the thunder wave. I think she said 2d8. I think so. Uh, I've got her character here. Uh, which one is she? Camille. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not there. Two, two D8 will really fuck those guys up. There it is. Uh, 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 uh. It is 2d8 and pushed back 10. Nice. That'll ruin their fucking night. Ooh, 15 hit points on each. Uh, okay, uh, Daphne, you're the only one that spots Camille. What do you want to do? Can I, like, tell Zadar, like, hey, Camille's, like, uh you could if you were sitting in the same teepee as him, but no, you wanted to shack not. up with the uh, old Oh, so he's lady. like really far away. Can I go to him? Uh, 
Give me a survival check to see if you remember how to get there fast. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Nine. <laughs> Yeah, you get lost in the shuffle as the the settlement just goes ape shit, and they're going in multiple locations. Uh, I think Camille's coming back. What do you want to do? Uh, you managed to hit them for 15 points each and knock them all back 10 feet. Uh, Daphne is trying to find Zadar. She knows where you're at. Zadar does not. Fair enough. Uh, Camille is going to cast Thunder Wave again. A seven, an eight, a four, and a 19. Holy fucking shit, those are bad rolls. Only four hit points this time. And only two to one of them. Uh, Daphne, give me a survival check. Uh, am I fighting my way to Camille now? Oh my god, they're so bad. Seven? You're totally lost. Uh, Zadar, give me an investigation check. Okay. That wasn't me. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, you have figured out where the horn is sounding. Uh, you see the other guards frantically pointing to the far side. Uh, you have no idea where Daphne is, probably hopped up on peyote. Uh, <laughs> and you don't know where your bunkmate is, because apparently she had to take a squirt. Okay. So. All right. I grab my gear, though. I grab. <laughs> I do the Deadpool with the scimitars. And, right. You know, head on out uh, to the wall. Okay. Uh, what's your movement speed? Uh, my movement speed is 30. Okay. Uh, you will make it at the end of this round uh, okay. because you are close. Meanwhile, Daphne is sightseeing. Uh, three of the assailants decide, fuck this, they've had enough. And three of them run from Camille. The fourth says, fuck this, I'm shooting that bitch. Uh, with a 16 plus 521, uh, Camille, yeah. uh, 7 plus 2, take 9 hit points of damage as an arrow goes into your shoulder. Uh, you, Zadar, and me roll initiative, Daphne roll investigation. Ooh, good. 20. Uh, 21. Oh, my rolls are so bad now. Ten. Uh, the kids are tugging at you, including Tomahawk Boy. Uh, they want you to go towards your animals. I guess I go towards the animals. You are their protector. <laughs> you are our hero. Uh, Zadar, you skipper. <coughs> Excuse me. You scamper up the... Uh, uh, ladder uh, reach an arrow filled Camille you are up first what would you like to do you look over the side and you see uh, the Maka standing okay. there in all its glory because you don't know what the hell it is okay. cast web. You, you see a bipedal wolf I okay. cast web yeah, you, you aren't up yet you're not <laughs> up yet you <laughs> I uh yeah I look at him uh is he within 90 feet of me? Uh, he'll be 60 feet. 60 feet? Okay. I bonus action cast Hex. Okay. And then I'm going to fire uh, an arrow at him uh, from the hand crossbow. Okay. Let's see. Does a natural 20 hit him? No, it does not. <laughs> damage, okay. damage modifier. Okay. <clears throat> okay, eleven and eleven, <laughs> and the modifier is eight. Uh, so thirty. Yep, and an extra d six on top of that because of the hex. What did I say? Ufka was. Uh, Ufka was haunt. That's right. 
Okay, and that's an extra four points necrotic damage. Fair enough. Okay, uh, Camille, you're up. Uh, I'll change to Pulse Wave. Oh, Jesus. How much damage, or what's the save on that? Uh, Constitution saving throw. Camille's nat, nat 20 on that one. Uh, Camille's running an ultrasound. <laughs> so now what? Uh, what's the damage on it? Is it halved or save or uh, suck? 66. Oh, fuck. Uh, creature must... Half as much on a successful save. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do 66. This is gonna fucking hurt. One. Oh, he's not gonna have kidney stones. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Roll all the dice. I am. Does 96 one. kill it? <laughs> and Camille, you uh, hit it for an extra d6 on top of that necrotic. Okay. Because so he's hexed. Two, so. three, nine, uh, nine, twelve, did you add the extra six from the hex? No. Oh, I, I have to choose an ability With another that, six. that they're hexed in, and it's going to be constitution. No shit. Second nat 20. Oh, <laughs> man. Uh, so what's the total damage on that, Camille? And then half it. That's 18 plus six. 24, so 12. Mm -hmm. uh, he implodes. Death by Sonic. <laughs> uh, Talana scampers up, uh, looks out into the moonlight, sees the three running figures, uh, and asks Maka? Yes. May we? Interesting. Uh, no, it is not Maka. It's a person. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you've blown him up, so there is going to be no evidence that it is not Maka, so they will assume that you two have killed a werewolf. <laughs> Do I finally Even though get, like, that is not what I'm the credit? Oh. Okay. oh, yeah, you two get the credit. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, the, the two guards saw you scamper up there and do the hand <laughs> thing. Because <laughs> uh, they were all out of ideas. Uh, and But, yeah, you are now living the lie that you killed a werewolf. Do we know? They will send out a... You saw that they were regular people in wolf skins. Well... So can we tell Talana that? You can if you want, but the uh, crowd is rather rejoicing the fact that the Maka has been killed because you are the only one that knows there were four. Well, I mean, and that's fine, but I want Talana to know what actually happened. Uh, would you like to go out and survey the uh, remains? Yes. Okay. Give me a survival check to see if you actually know what the hell's going on. Because you have a pretty good idea. Cool. And I mean, hell, if they're going to give you credit for killing hey, you. Because you know, we're heroes. Uh, that's true. You, you've you never been to the Academy, you fake. <laughs> no, we know more than that. <laughs> yeah, because we know those fuckers aren't heroes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 18, you get down there. Uh, Zadar, Daphne. Daphne, uh, the mothers are very happy that you, the horned beast, uh, protected their children. So <laughs> you're going to get credit there too, nice. even though she's not paying any attention. Yeah. To me. She's making her spells. 
Uh, so, uh, Daphne and Zadar, do you want to follow uh, Camille outside with Talana and the Warriors to check on yes. this thing? Yeah, why not? Warriors. As you guys all get outside to the blast site, all of the uh, <laughs> high grasses have been sundered and knocked over uh, because ancient alien theory. I was about to say, it looks like a crop back, circle. That Camille uses nucle nuclear energy. Like uh, you get out there and they pick up the entrails of this blown up creature. Tulana and the other warriors uh, bandy about Maka. Uh, they clearly think that this was a werewolf because they pick up skin and they pick up uh, pelt. And I say, no. I know what I saw. It was a human with a pelt. Human pelt. Maka. No. Well, shouldn't we just like grab one of the pelts from the TP and be like, "Well, pelt, she will understand pelt." Yeah. Um, not maca. Not maca. No, not maca. <laughs> Are you um, knowledgeable? Huh? Knowing? Yes. Do you? Are you saying? <clears throat> <clears throat> see you uh they bandy about the term uh kotai the wolf people hmm. the nomads ah, okay. the kotai uh and talana sends out a few warriors they go out they find the tracks in the high grass where the other three they find blood splatter because you actually did 19 fucking hit points of damage to them which is half almost uh the leader had more <clears throat> uh and they go off into the distance uh two by two standard formation to take on nakatomi plaza and <laughs> head off uh after about 15 minutes they return uh point out the telosian word for blood uh but they do not find them so did they, did they see footprints <laughs> yes so they confirm that it is not maka um uh, and thank you profusely. Uh, they head back in, check on the wounded warriors uh, who will receive curative properties from the old Danny DeVito slash Rhea Perlman that <laughs> near and dear to Daphne's heart. Mm -hmm. uh, Daphne, when you go in, again, the mothers and fathers will be very ecstatic that you took care of the younglings. Uh, Zadar I'll and... Kill them like Anakin. Yeah, no shit. Warn them as shields on your chest. Right. Uh, Zadar and Camille, you will be uh, praised as Maka killers. Uh, Talana will attempt to go ahead and dissuade them, pointing out that it was not Maka. Uh, the children will cower behind Daphne because, holy shit, there's Maka out there. Uh, and Talana will just turn to you two and we're, we're just like just yeah. tell them what you need to to make it work maka <laughs> there we go yeah, everybody is happy. so we we say maka, maka. <laughs> so every uh they will double the guards uh it's right around midnight uh you guys can man the battlements if you want or you can go back to bed uh camille you're pretty sure that you gave them a whooping uh and talana will confirm that there was a lot of blood in the trails uh so he she does not think that there is going to be uh, any recycled combat that works i think we can probably rest. and talana offers you the eyeball of uh the assailant that you took out i Thank her, and I offer her the eyeball back and say, No, 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 no. you should put it in your you. necklace. Wear it. You never know when I might stab your eye out and you need a third eye. <laughs> yeah. You know, eyeballs could be a component. Do you have a component pouch? Huh? Sure. She has a component pouch. 
Okay. Yeah, wear it, in, wear it in your in navel place. so that you can give hypnotic sexual dances. There okay. you go. <laughs> and, I will and put and it sing, in my pouch. You can sing uh, the song, uh, What Did I Make You Watch at Halloween? <laughs> Sanderson Sisters. Oh, Hocus Pocus. I've cast a spell on you and just have that eyeball made. <laughs> Every once in a while, just wink at people. And nice. now you're mine. Uh, so, man the battlements or go back to bed? Uh, go back to bed. Morning dawns anew. Uh, the community is still abuzz with the great Maka Slayers, uh, even though you're living a lie again. Uh, yeah, of course. But uh, breakfast is served. Uh, it's is more there of cheese? Uh, oh, yes. They, uh, they, they will heap things upon you. Uh, you will get cheese. Uh, Zadar, you will get a fine cutting blade. Oh. It does plus one to damage. Nothing to hit, but plus mm -hmm. one to damage. Okay. It is razor thin and razor sharp. Uh, Daphne, you will be given a small pouch by the village shaman. Nice. Nice. And you your own pipe. You want. <laughs> nice. That's right. <laughs> so that, that's good for a couple drags. Or as you find some hobbits, you can certainly trade for something better. Uh, it is 9.53. We'll finish a little bit early. Thank uh, you, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's the second time we finished early on, on an adventure. With I'm getting this. older, so I'm finishing earlier every time. <laughs> there we go. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, you guys will now head off towards... Uh, let me go ahead and throw this up here. Well, before we go, I take my, my gift of my blade from him. I hold it up to him. And I go, BAM! And, yeah, he, put it away. A, a broad smile crosses his face. <laughs> uh, you guys will be headed to uh, Wolf Lake Outpost next, which okay. is... There's lots of wolves out here. Right here. Yeah, there there are in this area. Uh, and that should tell you everything you need to know. So you will follow the course upriver. Uh, it will take you, I think I put two days. Two days to the destination. Uh, Talana is going to tell you that you are going to meet with the Kurd Sage. Um, How is there a Kurd Sage? It's the village elder. Yeah, but the emu people are gone. Right. This is a Kurd sage, not an emu sage. Right. So what's the Tower of Kurd? That is the lineage. Right. So where are the Kurd people from? Kurd is a, is a title. Okay. Kurd, Kurd is like a czar or a king. Okay. Gotcha. And a Kurd sage understands the lineage uh, and... Spoiler alert, this one will have proven that Hempta is of true lineage. Ergo, she should be queen of the Talosian people. So, that is why she got you guys to clear out uh, the Tower of the Kurd. This is why he'll probably die. Probably. You guys will probably all die. But at least Daphne will die in a peyote. Uh, in haze. Exactly. Uh, Caitlin, what'd you think? It's good. I'm excited. We're like in new lands. Learning the lingo. Yeah, now we don't have people just speaking normal common. So it's an and, extra step for us, I guess. And you scared children and protected them all at once. Yeah. 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 From the Maka. That's right. so weird. Yeah, we learned two two words. I didn't Ufka get to and Maka, laugh at her at so. all. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, after you didn't get to kill anything, uh, you almost killed a child, though. If you would have done six, I probably would have given him a limp or a bad eye or something. Oh, no. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Landed him on a rock. Uh, David, what'd you think? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I met my new friend, Emeril. So. Bam! Bam! Yeah. So, he only <laughs> knows that because of me. That's true. <laughs> I almost made him Bobby Flay. Oh. I couldn't figure out how to make an arrogant cocksucker in Talosian. So. I've met both of them, so yeah. 
There you Bobby go. Flay and the arrogant cocksucker? Or... Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and what was Bobby uh, Flay like? He was really nice. He taught me how to temper chocolate. Really? So. Uh, mm -hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then I rescind my cocksucker mm -hmm. comment. <laughs> uh, last but not least, Carrie, what'd you think? I had a good time. You made it okay. very interesting. Are, are you guys liking the lore aspect? I am. Yes. Yeah, yeah I am. I really am. So I, I'm, I'm brushing up on the lore aspect in the event that uh, uh, folks at home, we're going to be running two campaigns. Kyle's going to be running one of the campaigns. I'm going to be running the other. We have not set the cast for either one. We do have two complete casts. We're just trying to figure it out. One will be alternating Thursdays. The other, again, will be alternating Saturdays. Uh, but if I get Scott in mind, I'm going to have to brush up on lore creation. No, because we don't need to yeah. go Scott's all about Scott, lore. Scott, like Scott loves lore, so got to do it. Still. Got to do got to no. do what the players like. No. no. Uh, We're not going to do lore for two hours every, every game. No. No, we will not do that. But, you know, you guys learned two words and got a little bit of lore. If Daphne would have rolled better, she would have also figured out what the lineage in Maka, the not Maka. was. Maka. Yeah. Maka. 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 Miners or miners. Uh, folks, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit or see weird pictures, <laughs> join our Discord uh, channel. Uh what was the last fan one? Art. Kyle, some adventure sense. Uh, fan art. Kyle mm -hmm. inhaling uh, my scrawlings when I get to play. Mm -hmm. Shit like that. Uh, also, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot or on the Tuesday talk show, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, thanks to Pirate Dog Dice again uh, for dice that were that my root beer die was. Freaking you wrote, fire tonight. I was going to say, you rolled some 20s tonight, man. Yep, and there's another 18. Uh, and also, oddfishgames.com. Oddfishgames.com. If your uh, games stink, try Adventure Sense. Do not Don't inhale them. Do not hop them. Yeah. them. That is a bad thing, especially if it is putrid sewer. And now the pirate ship, eh, it's not bad. It smells more like a locker room, actually. Mm -hmm. oh. uh, yeah, it's, no, like a deodorant. I don't do it. <laughs> Uh, but the, uh, what is this one? The Rowdy Tavern? Yeah, mm -hmm. I've been in enough Rowdy Taverns. That's well, right. Kyle said that the putrid sewer smelled like a used urinal kick. Yeah. It's like a... I, we, <laughs> Carrie it's and like, I both yes. smelled that, and it is toxic. It knocked me off my feet. Uh, do not feed them to children or animals. They look like candy, but they're more like Tide Pods, so don't do that. Don't directly inhale them. Uh, other than that, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, oh, our shop, you know, if you want this yeah. Murder Hobo shirt, uh, you can get that there. Uh, folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We will see you on Saturday for a one shot Beholder Swamp for first level PCs, including a new player. Uh, everybody wave and let Gary take us out. Uh, goodbye, everybody. And transition. Are you muting us? Hang on. No.